Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create and animate a flowchart in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Have you ever stood in front of a whiteboard and drawn a flowchart to illustrate a concept? Maybe you've done something similar in PowerPoint or Visio. But what about Doodly? Yes, you can do that. And that's what we're going to work on today. You can upload your own images or you can use Doodly's built-in shapes for a great looking flowchart video. And it'll help your viewers understand your concepts. So let's get started. The first thing I like to do is sketch out my flowchart on paper. So here's what I did to illustrate the steps of creating a flowchart in Doodly. Now it's ugly, but it tells me exactly what I need to do. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares and three diamonds. And then I have a series of arrows that I need. And then it tells me the text and I can just build these things right on top of it and then rearrange them as needed. Doodly comes with some basic shapes already to go for your flowcharts. So click on props and then click on categories and then find the shapes section. So here we go. We have all kinds of shapes. I've got a bold square and then I've got this transaction. I'm not sure what BPMN stands for, but it doesn't really matter because we can use, use it regardless of what it stands for. We also have dash squares, a data flow square, you know, so there's just different styles. So go ahead and choose one that you like. I think maybe let's use this one. It's kind of slanted. So I'm just going to lay it in here and add it to my chart. Now this does have a transparent interior, so keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of cover my little sections and get a general size. I think this size looks nice and decide on my timing. I think one second is plenty of time to draw a square or a slanted square. So I have that set and now I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this. I'm just going to go control C or command C and then control V or command V to copy it. And then I'm just going to keep repeat, repeating that over all of the ones that are that shape. And I'm not too worried about them overlapping at this point. You know, I'll make my adjustments. So I like this one, it's right here, so that's perfect. So I'll put that one here, just add it to my little sketch, and then copy and paste it once again. I wanna make sure that these are in the right order. So I'm just gonna click one, two, so that moves over, three, and then I'm going to have the diamonds come in. So let's move a diamond up. So it should go from there to that diamond. And then I need my other diamond to follow. And then my last diamond follows that. And then that one comes up and then that one and then that one and then that one. So I have the order of these correct. Now I need text. So we go to our text tool and we just pick our favorite font and just type it in. Sketch the low chart. We want it to be a word wrap and then we're going to want it centered and then we're going to want to size it so that it fits within our box. That size looks fine. I am going to copy and paste this text just because I have the sizing down and I'll just type over it on the others. Okay. So first thing I want to do is move this up so that it is in the proper space. So I'm going to have my first box come on and then my text come on. Now I'm going to copy and paste this text and put it here. So now I have the second one. It's down at the bottom. So I'm going to move it up. I'm going to move it into position. So it's going to come after that one draws. And then I'm going to type in my text and see word wraps already there. So that's fine. And I'm going to do the same 
Okay, so I've created my shapes and text and they're in the general order. So I know it looks terrible right now. So what we can do is we can go ahead and delete our underlying graphic if we'd like, or we can wait until we have the arrows done. So that's up to you. I mean, it's pretty simple. I know the order and I know which way the arrows go. So I can delete it if I'd like. Another thing you can do is you could turn the opacity off, turn it down to zero, and that'll make it disappear. And then it's still there if you need it for a reference, you could always turn that back on. So now I have it and I know I need to resize and rearrange this a little bit. And I want to do that before I draw the arrows because depending on where I place the shapes and stuff will affect the arrow sizes. So let's start by selecting the first set. So if you use your control key and then click on both of those, it'll group them. And let's move that over. If you look here, we do have some arrows. Now, what if these arrows or shapes aren't exactly what you have in mind? You can use your own by creating them in a different program. Chances are you have Microsoft Word or maybe PowerPoint. Both of those will make some really beautiful shapes and they're really easy to export them too. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use Microsoft Word. Go to Insert, Shapes. You have a ton of shapes that you can use just straight away. So this one has a little arrow pointing. This one has a double-headed arrow. This one has no arrow head. These are connectors, and then these are kind of freestyle ones. So there's a ton of options. And then of course you have these blocks down here. So whatever you want to do, I'm going to do just something simple here. And I'm going to make a little simple arrow. And then if you go here, you can, of course you can change the color, but you can change the weight, make it nice and thick. And you can also make it a dashed arrow if you'd like or solid or dotted. Let's do curved connector. And then I'm gonna make it the same style. So I want the dashed line and then I want thicker weight. Yeah, so we'll do that. And then we probably need this same line but shorter for these little ones. So we can just copy it and just make a shorter version of it. So I have a shorter one and somewhat longer one. Now what I need to do is get these arrows out of Microsoft Word and into Doodly. So all you have to do is right click, save as picture. Notice I'm saving it as PNG, that's important. So make sure to do that. Okay, so we're done in Word. Let's go back to Doodly. And we're just gonna go back to our all categories so that we get our little blue plus sign. And that's how we're gonna import these images. So I'm just gonna drag them in. Okay, so now I have them. So let's go ahead and drag them into our scene the way they are. I think that's fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this one. Might as well put them into place while we're at it. Just gets easier if you do it as you create them. So it's gonna go square, sketches that, then the arrow, then another square. I'm gonna make that one second long. Oh, I'm sorry, that's in the wrong spot. That's after import sketch. And then probably need the shorter one for use doodly shapes. So let's use this one. Now we need this longer one. So now we need our curved arrow. So let's start with the first one. Click the pencil icon and we just need to do a draw path and these are gonna be super easy. So we wanna just go boom, turn up your path size and then just draw it, and that's fine. 
And then our last one, which is this curve. And this will look so much nicer than the scribble. Okay, so let's take a quick look. Now at this point, you could add your music or your narration if you're doing a narration. If you are doing a narration, you may need to add some delays as you're talking because you know, maybe you want to talk for 10 seconds about adding shapes and then maybe you want to talk for another five seconds about building the scene. So, you know, just do what you have to do to get your timing right. And that's the basics of creating a flowchart in Doodly. Thanks for watching.